first one. <laughs> when I was guy. Shona. You speak Shona. And then how do you find yourself in Vila Vila and Vipala <laughs> when you are supposed to be with Munangago there? You know he doesn't give me money to operate you guys. And I'm operating you with my limited budget. Thank you so much for appreciating Oh, well, you can't appreciate that. You're killing, <laughs> you're killing my health system. You are killing my health system. When you guys are sick, I'm hearing these days, you just say, let's cross Limpopo River. There's an MEC there who's running charity department. It's not. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you something that is truthful and painful. You know that SA goes and count people during the census and tell me that in Limpopo we have got 5.7 million people and tell me out of that 5.7 million, 91% do not have medical aid. They are dependent on the state. 9% uh, they will say has got medical aid, they depend on private hospital. And then they go and give national treasure. When national treasury allocates its budget, they said Limpopo has got 5.7 uh, uh, million people and they subtract the 91, the 7%, 9% and they give me the budget of the 91 to do all these operations. Now, I am here, instead of using the budget for what it's meant for, I'm operating for what Munangwabwa is supposed to do. Mm -hmm. And that is why when my people of Limpopo want health services, they can't get. Mm -hmm. And that is angering the community. Mm -hmm. Because you are coming here to... I was in George Masai. Mm -hmm. We are busy operating Mozambique and National everywhere. And you are not even registered anywhere. You are not counted. You are even illegal. And you're abusing me. This is unfair. It's unfair. I can't go to Zimbabwe and get health care. Do you think they can allow to operate me? It's for their own people. I went to Canada recently. You know, before I entered the country, I must show, before they give me a visa, I must show them that a proof that indeed if I fell sick in Canada, I'll be able to cater for myself. It's only in South Africa where people just come in. And people have got problems with Minister Mtuali. You know why he's like this? It's because he was working in health and he knows the pain. Mm -hmm. And people call him xenophobic to say he's anti zimbabwe He's not anti anybody. Minister Mtuali was feeling the pain. I used to go with him to um, Musina to see the problem there. So, says he, you won't be discharged until you settle your bill. You must charge him. Yes. See, yes. Yeah. We 